When it comes to rewarding garden changes, nothing beats witnessing wild bushes be shaped into eye-catching designs, monstrous hedges be reduced to size, or enormous garden ice cream ballers. These are just a handful of the bizarre and ingenious tools and methods used in gardening. So let's have a look at some gardeners who are hard at work and have abilities that are so captivating that you won't be able to put your phone down or turn the video off. The art of topiary involves shaping trees and ornamental designs like globes, clouds, boxes, and even teddy bears. This craft has been used for more than 2,000 years and is still widely used today. Watch as the London gardener uses a hand shear to reduce these overgrown pots into a collection of satisfyingly round balls. One of the most popular trees used for topiary is a boxwood. It's a thick evergreen shrub with tiny oval leaves for foliage. Additionally, it grows slowly, making it the perfect plant to maintain in the small spaces of a potted topiary like this one. But to be able to trim boxwood hedges like this freehand requires genuine talent. Drawing a perfect circle is challenging enough. Now imagine attempting to shape a shrub into a globe. My hedge would have so many holes in it that it would resemble the moon's surface. It's incredibly exciting to see the London gardener ruffle the sides to shake off the clipped leaves because she clearly possesses some significant ability. However, those of us with less dexterous hands than the London gardener can use a simple workaround. Simply cover your plant with a measured wire frame and cut the protruding sides. Ta-da! You'll possess a topiary sphere that is ideal for you. That undoubtedly simplifies matters. As admirable as it is to see these enormous green planets take shape, how about some more amazing forms? The traditional ice cream swirl. It seems absurd, no? Well, have a look at this. Pruning expert Jacko here makes making a spiral topiary seem surprisingly simple, despite the fact that it appears complex. Jacko first shaped this juvenile boxwood tree into a cone by shearing down its edges. The spiral's fundamental design is then created by cutting a 3-4 to four inch broad groove into the tree. He deepens the spiral groove on a subsequent pass, stopping roughly halfway from the tree trunk. The tree will remain content and robust as a result. In order to complete the spiral form, he trims the branch tips at the groove's margins. And there it is, the ideal ice cream swirl. Some gardeners trace the spiral's form with tape, but Jacko is so skilled that he can do it by eye. That not only shows genuine expertise, but it is also really pleasurable to watch. However, the technique may be somewhat laborious when using hand shears, and not everyone prefers them. Many gardeners crank up their saws, including Kurt Wilkinson, a real master of the cutting profession, in order to speed up the process. This large conifer cone is being rebuilt by him from an unkempt mess. Kurt is using a Husky, also known as a Husqvarna 520iHE3 battery-operated hedge cutter. Its 320mm teeth are ideal for cutting off any protruding branches by gliding over the level surface of the hedge. The Husky produces an astounding 4,000 cuts per minute, which is much faster than a pair of hand shears would. Kurt quickly produces a precisely cut cone appropriate for a rocket ship with his excellent craftsmanship, although Kurt's armory includes more than just the Husky. A Makita DUN 500WZ hedge trimmer is another tool he utilizes. Watch him make an amazingly pleasing garden centerpiece to see it in action. Don't those round boxwood hedges look like fluffy clouds? I wish I could spring over them. I would likely trip over the boundary first, however, and wind up smashing through the hedges instead. That would be disastrous, especially given how well Kurt maintains these hedges with the Makita pole hedge trimmer. This type of landscape design works well with the Makita's varied speeds. You have a choice of 2,000, 3,600 or 4,400 cuts per minute while changing gears. This is ideal for dealing with the small spaces and exact contours used in this tiny hedge design, where you need to move a little more slowly to prevent cutting the wrong piece off. The Makita's 1.5-foot steel blades, on the other hand, are too long and heavy to fit between the clouds. Kurt does not use an electric trimmer for this purpose. Instead, he utilizes a pair of hand shears to draw straight lines across hedges. Wow, that resembles hedge confetti exactly. Now, this kind of routine hedge maintenance has no negative effects on the plant. In fact, it encourages new side growth, thickening and enhancing the hedge, like in the instance of this thick wall of hedging. However, if the hedge is too severely pruned, it may lose its capacity to produce new leaves. Due to its inability to photosynthesize, this might cause areas on the plant to wither away. 
you to this, experts like Kurt here utilize a gliding technique to trim the hedge without damaging it beyond what can be repaired. What has so far been your favorite thing to watch? The hand shears or the electric trimmers? If your team uses trimmers, please like this video. If you prefer to have your toperies cut by hand, please leave a comment below. Now why don't you click the subscribe button before we continue with some hedges that are the size of elephants. All done? Great! Let's examine some gardeners that go above and beyond now. Wow, look at that Bert balls-like man as he takes on a few trees. Although it could appear to be a fuzzy green muppet, this is actually a Monterey Cypress hedge. Regular visits from gardener John, who needs not one but two hedge trimmers to accomplish the job, keeps this potential green behemoth in check. The still HLA-65 and the still HLA-85 are being used by John. The 20-inch steel blades on both trimmers have broad teeth that are spaced 1.3 inches apart. These enormous teeth can perform 3,000 cuts per minute, which is great for slashing through the tree's stronger limbs and rapidly trimming this halt-out hedge to size. The still HLA-85 model weighs 9 pounds, which is a few pounds more than its smaller sibling. In order to carry the weight when pruning the upper branches, John fastens it to the GTA Elephant Harness. The enormous weight of the hedge trimmer is transferred to the harness via the steel cable pull system. With it, John avoids soreness and fatigue in his upper back and arms. The elephant harness, however, is not long enough to reach this enormous thicket. John then uses his specially crafted aluminium ladder to go to those challenging upper branches and finishes turning this green monster into a huge green egg. You'll need to conserve your strength for large tasks like this, Additionally, obtaining a level hedge edge may depend on the GTM elephant harness supporting the trimmer's weight. You can move around with your hedge trimmer without feeling the weight of it on your back, thanks to the GTM elephant harness's lightweight, durable, anodized aluminium tube. The trunk can spin 15 degrees on each side, so you don't have to be concerned about getting snagged in the bushes. A useful but maybe unfashionable accessory, unless you're attending a party where they're trimming hedges. An entire group would be needed to take on this enormous green wall, which is a hedge. However, experienced hedge trimmer Craig Ratcliffe from Southern Cross Gardens was the only man remaining for the task. Even though this conifer is four times his height, he is competent enough to handle it on his own. Man, it must be more than 20 feet tall. He's unable to go to the summit, even with a ladder. Craig was really planning to accomplish this task by hiring a cherry picker, but it wasn't available that day. This hedge remained unbeatable thus. Fortunately for Craig, his other employment required him to work on hedges that were smaller and easier to manage, but still rewarding to observe. The face of a hedge should slant inward to ensure that light, water and nutrients reach the lower branches, even if this may not be visible to the unaided eye. Otherwise, the entire hedge may fall over if the lowest branches die. Yet again, he falls short of the peak. Craig? Why? Why? It makes me so angry! He at least gives this hairy hedge a mini mohawk before finishing the job when he confronts it. Just like I was in the epidemic, this boxwood hedge appears to be overdue for a haircut. Greg quickly removes this hedge, this time using a Makita pole hedge trimmer. Every competent gardener keeps a variety of hedge trimmers in his possession and never settles for just one. Before you know it, he's finished, and the hedge is once more neatly trimmed. Let's watch this peaceful cascade of leaves fall from a fire-dancing hedge now for something a bit slower paced. The fire dance shrub is an unusual plant for a hedge design because of its dark purple leaves. However, because it may come up to 16 feet tall, it has to be regularly trimmed to keep it in check. When Craig trims it down, some of the leaves sprouting from beneath the top growth remain green because the plant only generates the chemical pigment that gives the leaves their characteristic purple hue when it's in full sun. There's nothing like a haircut and a colour change to make a plant, a uh, lady, feel completely different. Even if the shrub's ability to change colour was satisfying, a good old hedge wobble still reigns supreme. Perhaps it's the constant mobility. Whatever it is, I could watch Craig wobble this hedge all day. Perhaps it's the slow-mo effect. Here is another high hedge, but this time the top has been clipped. Craig, take a look at Rob from RJL Gardens in the UK as he takes on this enormous Leylandi conifer hedge. Rob is using a 40-inch still HS87T with an orange catcher plate. It weighs a substantial 12 pounds, making it one of the largest trimmers in the lineup. The still HSA86 variant weighs just 7 pounds in contrast. This trimmer is therefore quite powerful and ideal for cutting through a large hedge. 
But since the Leylandi conifer is one of the fastest growing hedges available, achieving an average of 35 inches of growth each year, it is the sole tool for the task. Leylandi grows far faster than the more typical boxwood shrub, which only grows 6 inches a year. Leylandi may also grow to an enormous height of 100 feet. Professionals like Rob here need to come in and trim this hedge to size to prevent it from growing out of control. In order to make the Leylandi bushier, he cuts deeper into the sides and shortens the new growth that keeps the plant shorter. It's a rather impressive hedge. As of yet, we've seen some enormous hedges sculpted into incredible patterns, but even these trained professional gardeners occasionally need the precise accuracy of an autonomous machine. Consider the Orlandi Boxus trimmer, which can quickly transform a tiny, unruly bush into a beautiful sphere. Wow, that was enjoyable to see. The hedge is perfectly trimmed and the final wobbling is just so. Because the cutter's base frame is adjustable, you may quickly shape hedges of various sizes into spheres. The cutter moves far more quickly than a set of hand shears because of its combustion engine, and thanks to its wheels it can be easily wheeled across to the next bush in line. The Essendam pruning machine now reigns supreme in the art of cutting cones, while the Orlandi trimmer still has flawless spheres covered. The Essendam pruner can effortlessly shape this boxwood hedge into a flawless cone form. Even that tough wayward branch at the top got clipped by it. Additionally, its head can be changed out for two different blade attachments that can also perfectly sphere cut hedges. These machines can cut between 500 and 600 plants each hour, and are made to rapidly and effectively trim the balls in this manner while being manually pushed along. The steel blades are not only detachable and available in a range of sizes, but the revolving arms and spinning blades are also oddly appealing to behold. Therefore, the Essendam pruner can advance things and handle even these enormous 13-foot fir trees. Is anyone here experiencing some vertigo when viewing this? This massive steel blade is 4 feet 11 inches long, greater than Danny DeVito is that. Additionally, the Essendam is available with multi-cutter cages that can concurrently trim five rows of trees in case trimming one tree at a time wasn't enough. Therefore, a pine forest might be efficiently pruned in a single day. The Essendam pruner clearly has some quite outstanding blades, but the Kirigan beats everyone else when it comes to enormous trimmers. This massive gadget weighs a stunning 1,550 pounds, making it a drivable trimmer since only the amazing Hulk could utilize it as a portable instrument. That's a Marvel film I'd pay money to watch. The Kirigan, which has seven stainless steel blades, is made to cut through 82-foot tall hedges. The retractable knives are kept back against their core discs by magnets while not in use. The blades, however, move forward in an ideal cutting position as soon as the disc begins to revolve. These rotating blades may then go through the top of the hedge and offer a level finish. However, the THA700 model can be used if you need something a little bit smaller. While using the same cutting mechanism as the bigger model, this self-propelled cutter can reach a height of 22 feet. The Kirigan machine is an incredible feat of French engineering. New Zealand gardeners have been producing their own enormous hedge trimmers in the meanwhile. Is that a bird? A turbine? Not at all. It's a tank specifically an AEC tank recovery unit. These steel boulders or armoured vehicles which weighed 11.5 tonnes were employed by New Zealand Army during the Korean War. With 16-foot blades fastened to a crane arm, this venerable vehicle has been transformed into a hedge cutter. Imaginative, huh? Hedge cutting has reached unprecedented heights among New Zealanders, however there is a reason why outdated Army vehicles have been assigned to the task. They assisted New Zealand in combating boxthorn, a plant that was initially brought to New Zealand from South Africa to be planted in rows as a hedge. The timber was too thick to be reduced using hand shears or even electric trimmers, thus the plant quickly exceeded the technologies utilised to confine it. At the same time, there was an excess of army supplies because World War II had recently ended, so in order to accomplish two goals at once, former army trucks were converted into enormous bladed hedge cutters. Those enormous propeller blades are the ideal tool for combating the problem of invasive boxthorn in New Zealand, and something about seeing those blades quickly chop through the boxthorn branches soothes an ache I wasn't even aware I possessed. However, nothing is quite as satisfying as a neat cut line in the grass when it comes to machines defeating nature. The Bex weed brush is the best machine for the job at doing it. A 14-inch circular blade on the Bex weed brush cuts through the grass to provide a clean edge. A weed whacking brush, which can be moved back and forth on a hydraulic arm that the driver has in the cabin controls, sweeps away any stray plants growing through the path's crevices in the meanwhile. 
It's a two-in-one device that simultaneously maintains the grass and shines the route. It can handle even the steepest lawn edges since the blade's height and breadth can be modified with hydraulic pumps. But at £375, it's too heavy to roll over the actual grass without making a sizable dent. There is an equally pleasant substitute for it. Would you look at this really slick operator? It's the Chariot of the KR. Not only is it enjoyable to see, but gosh, does using it seem like fun. The entire contraption functions much like a Segway and is a foot-operated device. The chariot may be moved forward by pressing the front of the pedals, backwards by stomping on the rear, and in either direction by squatting down on each pedal. With the exception of a brake lever at waist height, the chariot is nearly totally foot-powered, allowing you to move quickly through your garden while holding and utilizing any necessary tools. Man, this has to be the West's quickest gardener. You may speed about your lawn at 7 miles per hour while pulling a variety of items with a KR chariot. Even the quickest walkers often only attain walking speeds of 4 miles per hour, so despite the fact that may seem sluggish, keep that in mind. You may spend hours circling your yard in two 5-gallon gas tanks, cutting the work's duration in half. However, I've left the best for last when it comes to the gardening tool that gives you the greatest joy. Now is the appropriate moment to examine the Pazaglia Root Ball Digger. The tree version of an ice cream scoop is this device. With a pristine ball of undisturbed dirt surrounding the tree's roots, its curved blade can cut cleanly into the ground. The difficulty is solved by this equipment by scooping up larger trees in a packed dirt root ball, since larger trees frequently cannot survive being lifted bare-rooted. This raises the likelihood that the freshly planted trees will flourish after being established. The root baller creates root balls that range in size from 11 inches to 3 feet wide, thanks to interchangeable blades that are available in six different sizes and range in length from 15 inches to 33 inches. It's also simple to raise and move the uncovered trees to their new location, thanks to the hydraulic drive. It's undoubtedly entertaining to see this machine in operation. Additionally, it has really made me crave a scoop of chocolate ice cream. Which of these gardening tools satisfied you the most? Or did you favour hand shearing the hedges? Thank you for viewing and please let me know in the comment section below.